hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm doing another nail video today i'm going to start off by using this sally hansen cuticle remover to remove the cuticles and get them pushed back After pushing back the cuticles and removing the cuticle remover, I'm going to take a pair of nippers and just remove the excess skin from around the nail and cuticle area. So now I'm going to take my e-file and a fine, I think it's a fine, um, fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to go around the cuticle area again to remove any excess dry skin as well as buff the shine away from the nail. If you don't feel comfortable using nippers, um, you can definitely forego that portion of the manicure. I actually nipped myself when doing this um, tutorial or when doing my nails for this tutorial. So if you don't like to nip your cuticles, you can definitely skip that part. Um, next, we are going to be applying the prep from the Kiara Sky jelly tip set i'm not using the jelly tips from kiara sky today but i'm going to use the prep builder and top coat from kiara sky i've already pre-etched the inside of my tips as well so we're going to go ahead and apply the builder to all of the nails and then cure that for 30 seconds in the lamp After curing the builder gel on the nails, we're gonna go ahead and start to apply the tips. So you're gonna apply a generous amount, but not too much to the inside of the tips. And go ahead and apply that to your nails. You wanna make sure you're applying pressure to remove any air bubbles from the inside of the tips. The little lamp that I'm using today is from Beatles. This actually came with the Beatles um nail tip set that i purchased on amazon for twenty dollars so you just want to start at the cuticle apply the tips apply pressure until all of the air bubbles are gone and then flash cure under the lamp while you're still holding the tip in place for at least 10 seconds and then you can let go and allow the nail to cure This little lamp um, is really nice. The opening is nice and big. Um, there are no buttons to press to turn it on. You just simply touch the inside of the lamp um, when you're ready to use it and it comes on. So this is like super convenient when it comes to applying the jelly tips since you have to hold them down while they're curing. Again, we're gonna just go ahead and apply the cuticle, press down until all of the air bubbles are gone, and then slide your finger into the um, little lamp while holding the nail for at least the first 10 seconds or so. And we're gonna repeat that on the rest of the fingers.
All right, so we've got all of the tips applied. So we're gonna go ahead and cure the entire hand for 30 seconds just for good measures to make sure all of the gel has been cured. And then using our tip cutters, we're gonna cut the tips down to our desired length or my desired length. Next, I'm gonna use this small um, bit just to go around the cuticle area to kind of smooth the tips to where they um, meet up with the cuticle area. This helps them to look a little bit more natural and not so tippy, if that makes sense. You don't want them to look like press-ons. Um, so smoothing the cuticle area kind of helps with making them look a little bit more natural. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and shape the nail. It's kind of like a tapered square. Um, almost coffin shape, but yeah, you want to go ahead and pre-shape your nails before applying your gel polish. So I like to apply, um, well actually we're going to go ahead and buff them first. Um, you want to buff away the shine from the tips if you're going to be applying gel polish. I like to apply the builder as my base coat whenever I do these. You can definitely skip that step or just apply a regular gel base coat, but I usually just go ahead and apply um, the builder as the base coat to the tips. We're gonna be using Pixie Pink today from Kira Sky, as well as Halo Loose Glitter. And this glitter is so pretty, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. But, um, so we're gonna go ahead and apply the Builder Gel to the tips. This just kind of gives them a little bit more strength and it also serves as a base to the um, gel polish that we're going to be applying. You can probably get away with skipping this step if you don't wanna apply Builder um, on top of the tips, but this is just how I like to apply mine and my tips stay on. Um, they don't come off, they stay on until I remove them. The last set that I put on actually stayed on for over over a month and I pretty much do this same um, process each time I apply the tips. Not always the same products, but the same process whenever I do, do my um, full coverage tips. So we're gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds once all the nails are done. And now it's time to apply our gel polish. Again, I'm using Pixie Pink from Kira Sky. This is actually my first time using um, Kira Sky gel polish. I've got a few colors that I've purchased, um, and this is the first time that I've actually used one of them. For this particular um, gel polish, I had to apply three coats. Um, as you're gonna see here, the first two coats were still kind of, um, you could still see like the nail line. They were still kind of translucent, as you can see here with the first coat. So I did have to apply three coats of um, the Kira Scott Gel Polish. So this is the second coat that I'm applying. And once I apply this, you'll still see that you can still kind of see the nail line through the polish. So yeah, this one was a three coater. Whenever you're applying gel polish and you have to do multiple coats, uh, make sure that each one of your coats are nice and thin. Um, if the coats are too thin when you're applying gel polish, it may not cure fully. You may get wrinkling or bubbling or peeling. Um, so it's always best to work in thin coats when you're using gel polish. So for the Kira Sky Polish, I had to cure this in my lamp for, um, I believe, two minutes. I did it for, I want to say 30 seconds the first time, and it did not cure. So I went ahead and did it for a full two minutes um, in order for the gel polish to cure completely. This is the only polish that I've got to cure for two minutes. I normally use 
um, Madam Glam polish and that only takes 30 seconds to cure my lamp but for whatever reason I had to cure the Kira Sky polish for two minutes so this is the third and final coat that we're applying I do cap the tip um, on my final coat even though I will be reshaping the nails once I've got them all polished so now we're gonna move on to the accent nail where we're gonna be applying the loose glitter and I'm gonna use the builder again to um, have something for the loose glitter to kind of stick to so I'm gonna apply a thin layer of that to the nail So I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle um, the glitter onto the wet gel polish. And I just use my cuticle pusher for this. And I'll just sprinkle it right on. I do mix this up um, because this glitter has really small pieces of glitter um, kind of mixed in with the rest of the sizes. So I just mix it up to make sure it's all combined and I get a little bit of everything. And then just sprinkle onto the wet builder gel and again this glitter is really really pretty so I'm just gonna kind of dust off the extra and then I'm also gonna take my little brush with just a little bit of acetone to kind of remove some of the excess glitter um, from the size of the skin so that it doesn't cure um, onto my skin So for this, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the lamp. I believe I cured this for um, a minute. I wanted to make sure all of the glitter was secure. So I believe I cured this for a minute. And just a side note, um, I did have to cure the gel polish for two minutes because I felt like after the first um, 30 seconds, it wasn't completely cured. But the base coat and the top coat, I believe that cured in 30 seconds. I'm not sure why it took so long for the actual gel polish to cure. Um, but just be aware of that if you're using the Kira Sky polishes. And again, it could just be the lamp that I'm using. Um, but the base coat and the top coat cured in 30 seconds. The um, gel polish did take two minutes per, per layer, per coat. So I'm going to take and apply some more builder onto the um, exit nail once I've cured it because that's how you kind of encapsulate it. If you don't want the rough texture of loose glitter on your nail, you want to encapsulate it so that it's smooth. Um, so to do that, I used the builder gel. Now I'm going back and applying top coat on all of the nails. All right, so I'm gonna cure that in the lamp until, um, I believe I cured it for 30 seconds, maybe a minute um, for the top coat. But yeah, this is the um, nails after the top coat has been cured. I do go back and reshape. Um, if you uh, are someone that uses gel polish, you know that sometimes after you've applied gel polish, it kind of alters your shape a little bit. Um, especially if you've had to apply multiple coats of gel polish. So just go in to kind of um, reshape the nails and 
yeah I get everything back to the shape that I'd like it to be and I did that to all of the nails so now I'm just gonna use some alcohol on a lint-free wipe to remove the dust from all of the nails and then we're gonna apply some cuticle oil because my cuticles went through it <laughs> for this application I actually cut um, two of my fingers with the cuticle nippers nope I take that back I cut one of my fingers um, the accent nail on this hand I cut with the cuticle nippers and then on the other hand I actually cut the cuticle area using a hand file when I was buffing um, so yeah, I normally don't cut myself or injure my fingers or cuticles when doing my nails, but I had an injury on both hands this time, which sucks. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil to both of my hands. And this is the finished product. I really do like this nail polish, Pixie Pink. It's like a bright pink, um, super summery. And then the loose glitter is gorgeous as well. I hope you guys enjoyed my nail tutorial and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.